What's up, guys? <laughs> What's going on, everyone? So we're just on the way now down to Jervis Bay now, just moving on down to the cool in Jervis Bay. Bay. See the little kangaroo. Hopefully we're going to see loads of kangaroos jumping around the place. So we're going to pick up some pizzas and stuff because I've got pizza ovens and things. So we're going to see if we can pick up some loads later on. It's 25 to 1. There's plenty of time yet. So then we're also going to make a stop at High End Beach as well and a few other places. And hopefully try and get some few drone shots. Do something else to try and top that sky down in a bit. <laughs> Stay tuned and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Of course it had to be raining. Like, look at the state as well, right? And now we're meant to be glamping as well, so we're gonna be sleeping out in a tent. It's just gonna be soaking wet, might be thunder and lightning. It's gonna be great crack. <laughs> So as you can see, yeah, we've just got inside the glamping tent here. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? What's in the box? It's a torch. You said it was a smooth maker. I thought it was a smooth maker. I mean, where did I think I was going? Mosquitoes for Dre. Okay, what's that? Cleaner. And then... First aid. So that's the accommodation here in the Cove, Jervis Bay. Now we're going to go and have a look at some kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> Little joeys. Right. Dream come true. <laughs> Your little buddy. <laughs> Give him a little rub on the head. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> oh my God, glad. There, the guys made like chess with massive chessboard. <laughs> so, look at that little Joey and a little kangaroo here. But look at the Joey, look at that. And there he goes. Can't forget this little one here. Hmm? Wow, this place is so good. <laughs> There's another one So, straight away from the cove, you have access to this beach, literally walking distance. Beautiful beach. I don't know if you can see it up, up the end there. I think it breaks up into the sea. I'm real. There's a reception. Met this beautiful fountain in the middle. The glamping tents all the way down here. That's where I saw we are. The rest of the accommodation are cabins. There's a playground over there. 
you can hire boards and paddle boards and make something there. But there's absolutely no shortage of kangaroos. So here we are, we're just gonna have a few few ciders here now. We've uh, had our cheese board. <laughs> Absolutely delicious, getting eaten live by flies. <laughs> but all good though, got your reboom here, bit of music here. So might check in later on. Finger thing. So out of the 362 <laughs> days of the year, which is sunny in Australia, we got we're so lucky. <laughs> Three days, probably, of just absolute carnage. Really, really nice. <laughs> no, it is really nice. It's really. lovely, yeah. But just yeah, we just needed it. What are we we had like an hour, we had like what, an hour or two without any rain. Yeah. yeah. Two, probably, that's it. Considering we thought it was going to be raining for the whole time we're here. So, it's about Yeah. It. Well, we'll plow on. You all right, mate? Cooking on the barbie. <laughs> what are you cooking? So I'm cooking up some chicken burgers. Yeah, let's see. I'm cooking up some traditional mm. Australian sausages. Traditional Australian. It's going to be delicious. Guys, so I got some rose for you. Absolutely fantastic cook. Look at it. Fantastic. Nice, juicy, juicy, beautiful little chicken burgers. Look. What do you think? Let's eat! He's <laughs> terrible, really good job. Great <laughs> eat! <laughs> Don't jump in. <laughs> right, let's munch. Alright, guys, so we finished the food. Um, absolutely stuffed. Look at these lights now, you know. So beautiful tents here now. Trademark saying, we'll say it's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. The finger thing. Finger thing. On that note, I think it's time to say good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Did you chew? We've lost a spider here now, we don't know where it's gone. So Chris finds a spider on the top of the tent and he gets a can and whacks it down to the floor. So now the spider's going to it wait big. patiently on the floor for when the tent opens and he's going to crawl right in and crawl into the bed. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, that's just a quick final look. This is the tent at night. And it's comfortable enough. That's it for day one. Time to go to bed. Alright, what's going on everyone? So we've just woken up here now. Lovely, lovely morning. As you can tell, the wind is absolutely booming out here. Last night's sleep was good, but it was alright. Uh, in terms of the fact that there was so much banging um, outside because there's wooden doors. There's wooden doors on the toilets and the shower. I don't know if you can see, as you can see here now, it's it's fairly blowing and blowing around the place now here now. Few insects around we found a few ticks in the bed which as you can imagine wasn't wasn't the nicest thing but anyway we decided to teach us up we wanted to actually hire the paddle boards there's paddle boards here and there's kayaks that you can actually hire but the weather's really bad so um probably won't be doing that go Hyams beach and then probably fly out and drive a bit once we get outside of the national park you're actually not allowed to fly in the national park so um yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a pain. Anyway, we'll see how we go. See you on the other side. It's enough it says good morning like a few kangaroos. <laughs>
So we've got a fully stocked kitchen here as well. For each box here is numbered for each tent. And you've got everything from gas cooking, all your cooking utensils themselves. There are two barbecues here. This is what we used last night. And then you've got two fridge freezers here. All right, so we just made a bit of breakfast here. So as you can see, we've got some waffles here. Blueberries, a few raspberries, a bit of apple and cinnamon maple syrup. Beautiful. And the weather, as you can see, is absolutely awful. I'm trying to block some of the wind. So, let's go. All right, so we just finished off those waffles and those beautiful, beautiful fruits. I'm gonna get the five a day in. Big and big. Yeah, tip one now, we're gonna go high on the beach. Fingers crossed. Now, I'm gonna hopefully try and get some drone footage here. Yeah, we're going to Highlands Beach, is it? And then we're going to Turtle Turtle Murray's Beach. <laughs> so is it in feet? My hands are so cold. Oh, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. It's actually freezing outside, but we're going to make the most of it. Shit. Wait, do that again. We just stopped here in the forest. I just thought it was really important to show you the uh, damage that the forest fires had done. That tree's been completely hollowed out by the flames. But unbelievably, there seems to be some greenery coming off of it. It's been completely just hollowed out by the flames. So yeah, we've got another tree now here. It's been burnt here now. So yeah, so when we spoke to the woman in the cove, she was, she had said that the reason why the kangaroos tend to actually go around there a lot is because when there's forest fires and things here, they all kind of retreat to walk towards the water, to try and get away. See the water itself um, is where the cove is. People feed them there, they, they look after them, they care for them. And the kangaroos now have just gotten to the point where they know that they'll be safe if they actually arrive there. So yeah, so yeah, I just thought it was really important to kind of capture as well. All right, keep moving. So we're just here at the Five Little Pigs. Look there, we've got a beautiful little club sandwich here. We've got a few chips, it didn't break the heart, but anyway, we've got some chips. And we've got some eggs on toast here with some salmon and some avocado smashed. Yummy. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's good? So good, yeah. <laughs> it makes me nodded, so what else Yeah. Alright, so we've finally finished our food now. Where are we going? So we're finally going to go to Hyams Beach. <laughs> so we're finally going to go to Hyams Beach. We've said this like 45 other times, but now it's time. Now it's <laughs> Right, so we're just coming down to uh, Hyams Beach. So this beach has the widest sand in the world? Wow, um, it looks amazing. My god, oh my god. it looks amazing. Jesus. Oh, sick. Let's do a switch around now.
Alright guys, so we just got back in the car. As you can see, we're soaked. <laughs> you can see, absolutely soaked. <laughs> Definitely recommend coming down to Hyams Beach. It's absolutely amazing. Just come down here when the weather's not awful. I lost my hat, but I survived. You need lost a hat, it was so funny. <laughs> <sighs> Moving on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Morning everyone, this is our last morning here at the Cove in Jervis Bay. It's been a fantastic trip. Don't forget your waffles. <laughs> and the waffles as well. It's definitely been an interesting day and an interesting weekend. If it wasn't for the weather being so poor, then it actually may have been a bit, bit better. But I've only got maybe a quarter of the experience. It's amazing here though, the weather's good. It's good, yeah. it's good if you get the weather, there's so much to do down here, but if you don't get the weather, then yeah. <laughs> yeah just make sure you come down where the weather's good. All right guys, that's the end of it for today. So if you like, then follow us on our journey.